Hi guys, happy Friday. I'm still working actually. So I am looking back and forth at my computer and this phone as I'm recording this video. So I just need to arrange my phone a certain way. Okay, so let's get right to it. The look that I have on is a look from the lovely Danessa Myricks Lightworks 3 palette. Let me let you guys get a closer look. So <clears throat> this is a very lovely curated palette. You have your highlighters in the middle and your eyeshadows on the top and the bottom row. You could, according to Danessa Myricks, as usual with her products, you can use it anywhere on the face. You can even use these on the collarbones if you like or the decollet area. Um, well, that's what I think. I might be wrong. Also, the look that I... The colors of the look that I am wearing are space suit, space suit, gay, gay, Aya, gay Aya or something, and galaxy. And then in my inner corner here, and this color here, which faded a little bit throughout the day, is spring equinox. So first thing first, when it comes to these highlighters, which I will be showing you a swatch of, they are very pretty. However, the longevity of them is not... It's not there. I'm just keeping it real because I had this on since one o'clock, five hours. It's about a little after six right now and it's faded. It was more vibrant than this. I mean, it's not bad, but just so you know, when it comes to these highlighters, it'll look really pigmented, but then over, like I only had it for five hours and it's, you can still see it, but it's not as vibrant as before. However, it is still vibrant in the corners of my eyes. Which is interesting because it's not like I sweated here or anything, but whatever, just for you guys to know. So before I get to the swatches, I want to say that if any of you out there have any of her, what is this called? Multi-chrome pigment liquid eyeshadows. Some of these will look similar or appear to be dupes. I have several of these multi-chrome liquid pigmented eyeshadows by Danessa Myricks. And I will say one of them look exactly like Space Suit. One of them look close to, I think it was either Aurora or Gaia. And another one, and another one of those also look close to Galaxy. So I would say it's based on your preference in terms of do you prefer to use multi-chrome liquid or do you prefer to use multi-chrome powder shadows? It's up to your preference. For me, it doesn't, excuse me, I, I burped, excuse me. <laughs> For me, it doesn't really matter. I like to use both. So it's up to you. Some people may feel less intimidated in using the powder form of these multi-chromes. Some may even feel it's easier to work with versus the liquid one, which I can understand that. Just to put that out there. So now let's get to the swatches. Let's start with, Pol uh, let's start with Polaris, which is this. So this has a very cream no. feel to it. No. So it's like a gold. Actually, it's a gold bluish color because I'm seeing the shift here, but you guys are not going to see it. But I'm telling you now, this has, this is like two colors. I'm seeing, well, three colors, like white, gold, blue-ish. Looking at my work computer. The next color I'm going to swatch is Galaxy. This purple to you guys is, is looking green, but for my angle, it looks purple. So this is also another um, multi-chrome or duochrome, perhaps. Do you guys see? I do see some of the green blue here. And actually, this is one of the shades that closely resembles, I think it's called True Love multi-chrome liquid eyeshadow. This closely resembles True Love. In another video, if someone wants me to, I'll compare those liquid multi-chrome pigments by Danessa Myricks to some of these shades here. The next one is Martian. No. Okay. And the next one is Soul. This is so. Oh, I almost dropped this. Okay. 
This is how it looks so far. Very pretty, very pretty. All right, my finger. Next one, and this is more like a glitter topper shade, I say. This is Orion. Very pretty blue, gorgeous, just gorgeous. This is like a glitter topper. That seems like a pressed glitter, if you ask me. That That's definitely, a, I would say it's a pressed glitter. I'm just wiping my fingers. Let's go to the bottom row of shadows. The next one I'm going to swatch is Space Suit. Space Suit. Aurora. Ooh. This palette's a tad bit heavy, I must say that. Um, it, it's This is gorgeous. It, it is heavy. It's, yeah, it's, it's heavy. That's one thing I don't like it. It's, it's a little heavy for me. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, I thought I dropped something. Um, Gay, Gayaya, did I? No, I just watched this one. This is this greenish looking color here. This looks like, definitely looks like one of the multi-chrome liquid pigments I have by, Nene, by Danessa Myricks. Just so you guys get a look. And Solar Rain. This, this one, Solar Rain. In four minutes, if I don't get any calls, I could put my cell phone unavailable on my work computer. So I'm just keeping an eye on the time. And the last one is this black called Black Hole. So these are very pretty colors. Okay. Now on my other arm, I'm going to swatch the highlighters. Let's start with golden eclipse which is this this has a white undertone to it and let's like white golden golden white undertone and let's blend it because with highlighters or wherever you want to put it this is how it's truly gonna look so that's very pretty right that's pretty the next one is strawberry moon So as you can tell, this has like a lilac undertone or a lavender undertone color to it. Lilac or maybe lavender, depending on how you perceive it. That's also very pretty. This next shade, Spring Equinox, which is what I'm wearing. This has a greenish undertone, more like a jade green. I guess that's the best way to describe it. Very pretty. And the last one is Blue Moon, which has a blue undertone, actually, and you shall see. This is how beautiful it looks. Golden white undertone, lavender or lilac undertone, like a jade green undertone, I would say, and a teal blue undertone. Very pretty highlighters. Very different. I don't even think Pat McGrath have any highlighters that have those kind of undertone colors to it. So I definitely will say Danessa Myricks has stepped up her game. And they do, um, they blend nicely. They feel smooth as well. And um, I'm glad she's doing her thing. I'm glad she's doing the damn thing, to be honest. She, um, this is a very pretty palette. I'm just wiping because my fingers dirty that from swatches and stuff. The retail value of this is $125. So it is pretty hefty for some people. But hey, this is how I feel. If anyone out there, if you have a Natasha Denona or a Pat McGrath or Gucci or Viseart or even some of the largest size Charlotte Tilbury or even a Tom Ford, because those Tom Ford quads is like $88, $89. 
if any one of you have any of those kind of brand, those palettes from those brands, you could afford to spend $125 on, on this um, palette, okay? Because especially if you if you have a Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona, because Pat McGrath Mothership palettes are $125, and the largest size pans of Natasha Denona are $129. Actually, one time I purchased... It was the bigger size. I think it was the star palette. I ended up returning it though, but I had first purchased the star palette at one point. And I think I was, that was either 149 or 169, but I ended up returning it cause it was, it was meh. <laughs> um, so that's that. So I do feel that this is worth the investment. These are very pretty colors. And I really like this look I got going on. And just so you guys know, this color at the outer corner here, this is from Danessa Myrick's Color Fix shade and the color chocolate, which is a reddish brown color. So you can even use these with different Color Fix liquid shadows that she have. You can use it if you want to um, combine it with one of the, if you have this, the multi-chrome liquid pigments of hers. It's very nice, but like I said, I just have to keep it real. Some of these shades do resemble, excuse me, some of the shades from the multi-chrome liquid. Actually, hold on, guys. I have to put my cell phone unavailable. Sorry about that. I'm done for the day. I just had to put my cell phone unavailable and busy. So I do recommend this palette. I think this is such a beautiful and pretty palette. It's very sturdy. I even like the fact that she and she and um she encased it with it feels like snake skin. And it looks like snake skin. It feels like snake skin. If anyone's familiar with snakes, there are certain snakes that have this look and feel to it, where it's kind of like rough and sturdy. So I really like this. It's pretty classy. I like this case. And the names of the shadows are on the back here as well, which I like. And most of all, of course, I like the fact that she labeled the names of the shadow. This is definitely a plus for makeup artists or anyone who's doing someone's makeup. And I'm starting to get into that, doing people's makeup. <laughs> So I do recommend it. And like I said, if you, if anyone out there owns a Pat McGrath Viseart or, or Natasha Denona palette, this shouldn't be a problem for you to try this. It is quite unique. However, if any of you have any of the multi-chrome liquid pigments by Denesha Myvix, I don't say this, I, I'm not going to say this is a big necessity because some of these shades do resemble that. But I will say that these highlighters are very pretty. These highlighters are very nice. And that to me makes worth buying it, even if you own some of the multi the multi chrome pigment liquid eyeshadows such as myself. So I do recommend that. It's very pretty. And I look forward to using it more. And actually, I'm going to be going to Sephora soon since I'm done with work for today. And I'm going to show off this eye look and this palace. I'm excited. And, my, and, and just so you guys know, in my upcoming video, I will be discussing a product I bought by the brand Iconic London. This is an eyeshadow duo that has a, pen, a crown at the end and a liquid shimmer at the other end. And I really like this. And I bought this in this color. What is it called? I think it's called Volcanic. What is the name of the shade? Yeah, Volcanic. And I like this because it's in a neutral, a neutral color where you could just put it on and be on the go. Rather, it's you're at home or if you travel somewhere, you could go from very neutral, subtle look and using the crown by itself and just blending it out. Or if you want to make it a tad bit classier, or if you, depending on where you're going, like on a date night or something, then you can add the shimmer. So I think this is really cute. I think this was about thirty dollars. So I'm gonna do a video talking about that. I did get my Victoria Beckham C Gray Eyeliner. I'll do a quick little swatch here for you guys to see. Very pretty. Actually, let me just do the swatch of this, this one because I don't really need to make a separate video talking about this. <laughs> I have a little bit more space in my hand. So, so that's the crown part, right? Like, see, if you blend it, I have to see it on my actual eye, but I like that look. That's 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 nice. And then if you want to jazz it up a little bit, as what I would say, you can add that and maybe like blend it over on top. You see how it's now a little bit it adds shimmer and it stands out a tad bit more. So I like that. And they have other shades. I bought this from Sephora's website actually. This is pretty cool. I like that. I did also get the Victoria Beckham Jump lipstick. Let's not go there. 
I don't like the color. <laughs> it looks nice on the website, but on the lips, it does not look like this. It's very, it's much more sheer than I would like. I'll do a quick little swatch here for you guys. I do not really care for that. You, do, you see how sheer that is? I could get a club, colored gloss for, I'm going to be returning that. The only thing I like from Victoria Beckham, I'm going to keep it real and honest, are her eyeliners and her um, lid lusters. I don't really like care for her eyeshadow palettes, although I have two of them. I, I don't, I don't remember the last time I used it. That's how much it did not gravitate to me. It's a nice color story in her palettes, but the quality to me is not there. Viseart, Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, Charlotte Tilbury, even Tom Ford Quad to me is better quality than these Victoria Beckham um, brick eyeshadows. So the only thing I like from her is the lid lusters, shadows, and the eyeliners. I don't care for her lip liners. Now I'm not caring for this because this is my first time trying one of her posh lipsticks. I think they're overpriced and overrated. And I, and I definitely had tried that bronze brick contour bronzing thing in the darkest shade. And some of you already know that didn't work for me. So she's, oh, and no, I'm going to be honest. I think Victoria Beckham, I think her brand is overrated. For real. I think it's overrated and it's overpriced. <laughs> and it's funny because I remember I, I went to Sephora one time. I'm looking at the time. And I asked them, did you guys ever sell Victoria Beckham? Because as long as I've been shopping at Sephora, I don't remember seeing it. And this, self, this makeup consultant in Sephora literally told me at one point they did. She said it was a very small um, selection of Victoria Beckham products. And it was there for a very short period of time. And they took it off the shelf. And I asked her, why is that? She said, well, people wasn't really buying it. Yeah, I feel that Victoria Beckham products is for a particular group of people. Maybe people who like very, very subtle, no makeup kind of looks. Which is nothing wrong with that. But And they don't mind spending a whole bunch of money. I kind of feel that way when it comes to Wayne Goss products. They're more for people who's into the very neutral, natural look. Or maybe close to no makeup kind of look, which is no problem if that's your mojo, but it's just, they cater to a certain group of people. Is just what I'm saying. I feel Victoria Beckham is similar to Wayne Goss in that way. So it's just interesting. They don't, they, they not going to sell Victoria Beckham and they took it off the shelf in the Sephora stores because according to this lady, it wasn't selling much. And I can see why. <laughs> I mean, although these are new products she came out with, like the bronze brick, these eyeliners, I feel they overpriced. Like, I just, anyway, let me get going. All in all, when it comes to this beautiful Lightworks 3 palette, please get it. I checked Sephora's website. It is sold out on there. So you could get it from Beautylish or even Vanessa Myrick's website. And what I'm really looking for is the Chrome Flakes. That's what I really want. But I really like this eye look. This is very pretty, very pretty. And I like the fact that I use the Color Fix liquid with it. And I definitely am looking forward to creating more looks with it. All right, everyone. Have a good night. Bye.